Hi friends, welcome to interview. In this video, we will talk Apache Kafka consumer configuration. So, last video, we producer configuration. In this video, we consumer configuration. We will talk properties and usage. So, consumer configuration is a very important role play. So, in the Kafka topic, we will read the topic. Define the consumer configurations. We will read the messages and read the topic. We will read the topic as a consumer. Define the consumer configuration. So, first property is bootstrap servers. So, list of servers we mentioned is bootstrap.servers. This is why Kafka consumer connects the list of servers. So, this is the Kafka servers and Kafka brokers. In this topic, I will read the messages. So, it's a list of servers where Kafka consumers can connect to and start consuming. So, next is group ID. If you know the consumer group, there is a group and 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 there is a group of pods or a group of services and there is a group in the topic, you can read messages. Why do you do a group? There is no single message. There are millions of messages. If you read one consumer, you can read a lot. If you read a group or a group of computers, you can read a lot of fast. So, this is a group idea. So, if you have a group ID, you can mention the group ID as well as the group ID. If you have a group ID, you can read a lot of voting. For example, if you have a school, you can read a lot of voting. If you have a lot of voting, you can read a lot of voting. So, if you have a lot of voting, you can read a lot of voting. So, multiple groups are created. If you have a lot of groups, you can add a lot of voting. If you have a lot of voting, you can read a lot of voting. Within 2-3 hours, you can count the same thing. So, this is the same concept of group ID. So, if there is a topic, there are millions of messages in the topic. If we create a multiple consumer group, we can consume the messages. So, this is the group.id. So, the next thing is enable.auto.commit. What do we do? So, the consumer consumes it, it will automatically consume it. Offset will commit it. Offset will commit it. So, for example, offset will commit it. Offset will commit it. Offset will commit it. Offset will commit it. In the regular interval, it will commit it. That is why the property is used. So, the consumer will periodically save its progress. Enable.autocommit. So, the next property is auto.commit.intervalms. This is a frequency time. What is the consumer commit it? If you want to commit, you can commit to any time. For example, if you want to commit to 60 seconds, or if you want to commit to 2 seconds, you can mention it to auto.commitinterval. So, if you want to connect with the consumer to the Kafka topic, you can connect with the Kafka broker to the Kafka broker. If you want to commit to the frequency, you can mention it to the property. So, if you want to do auto.offset.reset, Say for example, one consumer will start and read. So, the previous one will commit to offset. Where will you start? So, there are two options. One is the earliest and one is the latest. The earliest one is the first one. The first one is the first one. The first one is the first one. The first one is the earliest. The latest one is the recent message. So, it depends on the context. We can tell you that the earliest one is the first one. The latest one is the first one. It depends on the context, domain. You are doing what product you are doing. That's the first one. इधर नंबर डिफाइन पन्ना मरियो एयर लिस्ट यूज़ पन्ना माय लेटेस्ट यूज़ पन्ना माय याने को ओल्ड रिकॉर्ड्स लान तय वेला ओल्ड ऑर्डर्स लान के तय वेला अपनी ना निगम द लेटेस्ट यूज़ पन्ना इलेन को ओल्ड ना रोबर मुम्म क्यों लास्ट थ्री मंथ्स का वंदे येने ना नडा दिच्छी अपनी इंटर देन के लामी as a consumer, you can read it. The next attribute is max.pol.records. This is how you can use this configuration. You can pull the number of records. For example, you can ping 500 messages, 1000 messages, 10,000 messages. That is defined by the maximum number of messages that I can fetch from the Kafka broker. That is mentioned in the max.pol.records. So, consumer configuration is the final configuration. Fetch.min.bytes, fetch.max.weight.ms This is the last slide. How many records can I fetch? That is the size. So, I am going to ask a consumer to ask a Kafka broker to ask a message. How many bytes can I ask? If I do a poll, I will tell you how many bytes can I ask. That is what I mentioned in the poll. इंगे वंदे नम्बो यूज़ पनी कलां एस ए कंज्यूमर आ इधर इधर का यूज़ पन्ना पति ना थ्रू पुट वंदे रोमन अल्ला आर कों इधर वंदे करेक्ट ना वाज़ जस्ट पन्ना ना रोमबो वेट टाइम कुड़ते रोमन ना नम्बो दो वी हैव टू कीप ऑन वेटिंग सो नम्बो वंदे लेस करेक्ट आना वेटिंग टाइम कुड़ते रो अपर वंदे 
கரெக்டாக இருக்கும் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப ஃபாஸ்ட்டாக இருக்கும் ஸோ சில பேசிக்கான கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் தான் பார்த்துருக்கோம் கன்சியூமர் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் எதெல்லாம் யூஸ் பண்ணலாம்னு சொல்லி இன்னும் நிறைய கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் இருக்குது பட் ஆனால் உங்களுக்கு இந்த ரொம்ப ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டன் ஆன கன்சியூமர் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் தான் வந்து நாங்கள் ப்ரெசென்ட் பண்ணியிருக்கிறேன் உங்களுக்கு இந்த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்கும் நினைக்கிறேன் தேங்க்யூ ஸோ மச் ஃபார் யோர் சப்போர்ட் உங்களுக்கு இந்த வீடியோ பிடிச்சி லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் ஆல் த பெஸ்ட் ஃபார் யுவர் கேர